Welcome to the American Express Elite Football Performance Centre for Brighton and Hove Albion versus Hull City in the Premier League Cup. The Albion have punched a quarter-final ticket in the Premier League International Cup. They are fresh off a record run to the quarter-finals in the EFL Trophy and they do possess an outside chance of progressing in this competition tonight. A win and a nine-goal swing. That is what is required for the young Seagulls. Stranger things have happened in football. Bright start this to the game for Hull City. Worked out to Joseph Johnson. I didn't lick up the line. Johnson's continued his run. Baker Boaty can cut it out, but an unfortunate slip there from Benico Baker Boaty. Amber Shirt starting to gather in that penalty area. Adam Lick into Sellers Fleming. Quick feet, and he's been brought down in the penalty area. And Jason Richardson says penalty. No doubt in the man in the middle's mind. A lazy leg. And Sellers Fleming will have the chance to give Hull City the lead from 12 yards. Steps up against Hugo Fisher and buries it in the bottom right. Hull City, 1-0 to the good away from home. Just their fourth goal in this competition. And it's come off the right boot of their number nine, Terrell Sellers-Fleming. Clever turn of pace there by Sincere Hall. And perhaps a chance to play it through to Sellers Fleming, who's away again for Hull City. Out comes Hugo Fisher. Brilliant challenge from the Albion's keeper. Needed to get that spot on. A long, long way from home. Stood out, took man and ball fairly. And has got possession back for the Seagulls in what could have been a critical moment for Hull City. Well, it's Shushane and Benico baker Boaty standing over it. Just a few yards in from that left touch line. It's flat and low from Baker Boaty. Skips all the way through to Jamie Mullins. What can he come up with here? Mullins struck towards the near post. Good save, Owen Foster. Got down sharply to his left to keep out Jamie Mullins, who showed quick feet to force the shot from the angle. Johnson again. No way through, but Albion have ceded possession right back to Hull City. Adam Lick combined well with Johnson in that first half. Tigers drifting in field. Sims. Overlap arriving from Weston. Back towards Sims, who will try and test Fisher at the near post. And off the boot of Harry Howe, or the thigh of Harry Howe, it's deflected behind for a whole city corner. Really good effort from Sims. Nilsson on as a second half substitute for the Seagulls. Jackson laid into Shu Shane. Lovely disguise on that pass from Sammy Shane, and he sent O'Mahony galloping away. Down goes O'Mahony, and the Seagulls will have a penalty of their own. Sublime ball from Sammy Shane, Threaded right through the whole city lines. O'Mahony sprinted clear, was brought down, and the Seagulls will have a penalty of their own. And Sammy Shane, the man that created the penalty with that lovely through ball, will have the chance to convert it. Up steps Shushane into the corner and the Albion are level. No more than they deserve. A step in the right direction for the Seagulls. Still lots more to do. But Sammy Shushane has made it Brighton and Hove Albion 1, Hull City 1. Again, the Tigers will try and play their way out from the back. Floated over the head of Louis Flower. Nodded in field rather carelessly. And Mullins has pinched it high for the Seagulls. Scooped into Barrington. Just skips beyond Barrington. Cross back into O'Mahony. The Seagulls are in front. No surprises who. It's the Irishman that just cannot stop scoring at the moment. And after two games away from the 21s, O'Mahony is back with a goal. A diving header at the near post. Nelson rolls his foot over the ball and finds the feet of Knight. Mullins again curled over the top. Chance perhaps to sprint upfield for Louis Flower. Options gathering in the form of Eiffel and O'Mahony, who's tapped it in. It's 3-1 Seagulls. It's Mark O'Mahony again. Two goals tonight to add to the eight he already has in the league. And Mark O'Mahony's double has given the Albion a commanding two-goal advantage. Infield it goes. Simmons. Shushane. Just tried to thread that through with the outside of his right boot. It will run for Mullins, who's been lively in this second half. Luca Barrington swung in first time towards O'Mahony. He's on a hat-trick. It's blocked, but will run for Louis Flower. 
and the Seagulls will find a fourth. Well, whatever happens tonight, this has been a thoroughly impressive attacking display by the Seagulls in the last 25 minutes. And Louis Flower, another striker in good form, has just added a fourth for the Albion. And Mahoney, impressive pass from him, which will send Louis Flower sprinting to the corner. Owen Foster has to deal with it and sees it out of play. And that might be that for this one. And the referee puts the whistle to his lips and brings it to a close. Well, it might not be the result that Shannon Ruth's side needed. That was always going to be a tall task, despite an impressive 4-1 victory over Hull City. Their Premier League Cup campaign does come to an end.